Um, welcome everyone. Today I want to show you uh, something cool um, about how to bring up a globally any costed service in under a minute. Uh, what I'm going to use in this demo is a provider called Stackpath, which I have blogged about previously. And today we're going to look at the Terraform and their container service. Um, so let's see, uh, we have a Docker file here. It's pretty simple. Um, it's basically all it has is a, is a little uh, Python web server. And all that Python web server does is uh, print the environment host name uh, and that will show us what host uh, we're hitting when we do some of our testing. Uh, so that's already uploaded to Docker Hub, which um, uh, Stackpath will pull this from. So now I'm going to look at something called Terraform. So Terraform um, is a um, infrastructure as code language uh, and uh, it allows you to define your infrastructure just in a little file. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So first, we're defined some variables. Um, you make those, uh, these are basically your um, credentials, so making those available as environment variables. Uh, and after that, you create uh, your workload. I'm calling it my AnyCost workload. I'm assigning a AnyCost IP to it, um, so that's cool. Uh, and then I'm basically defining the container, calling it app. I'm exposing port 8000, which is where my little Python web server is running on. Um, this is the uh, container that I'm using um, that will be pushed or pulled from Docker Hub. Um, what are the resources I'm assigning to each of the container? Well, one CPU with two gigs of RAM uh, per container. Uh, it's about $25 uh, a month. Passing along some uh, environment variables to, uh, to the container. And then this is where it gets uh, interesting. Uh, this is where you define how many instances you want where. So um, the target um, here will have two replicas per data center. Um, it can grow to four if the CPU utilization goes over 50%. Um, so there's some auto scaling. And this is where you define uh, where you want these instances to be. So Stackpath has quite a few data centers. Uh, I'm only using Dallas and Seattle. So that's it. So with this, I'm now deploying two replicas in both Dallas and Seattle. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So um, <clears throat> with Terraform apply, we make this live. Uh, so before I hit yes, I'm going to start a little timer here. Uh, let's show us how long it will take. OK, there we go. So we're now submitting that. I'm going to take a look at um, what the AnyCost address is that I'm getting. 41 so there we go we'll start a curl and i'm also starting a ping just to see how long it takes so take a look here at the bottom right to see how long it takes before the pings start responding and how long it takes before the curls start working okay so about 24 seconds before the pings start responding and i'm now seeing uh, my curl hitting seattle zero since i defined two nodes per data centers i'm expecting seattle zero and seattle one so the deployment's still growing, and uh, within a few seconds, we should now also see Seattle 1, and there you go. So we're now load balancing over Seattle 0 and Seattle 1. Um, a cool part here is if we do, if we change the deployment from 2 to 3, let's take a look there, and we apply this again. Um, I'll restart my timer here, and uh, we'll apply that, yes. So we should now start seeing um, Seattle 0, 1, and 2. Uh, while we're waiting, uh, let's go take a look at the portal. Uh, so we go to workloads. So this is the workload I created during uh, my Terraform deployment. Um, so here's the AnyCost IP address. You can see here the three instances out to scale to four. And you can see how it's actually just adding the third node. So we have two running nodes in Dallas and two in Seattle, and then two more starting here. Um, and it looks like those are now running. And here we should now start seeing Seattle too as well. Okay, well, that's a quick demo of how to bring up um, a any costed workload globally in under a minute uh, with auto scaling. Um, as fast as I was able to bring it up, I can bring it down as well with Terraform Destroy. Um, and as soon as we do that, this should now stop. And um, there you go. And it's gone. All right, thanks for joining this demo. Hope you enjoyed it.